Hey there, Paul Wagler here for Arise Now and the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, Angie and I are here today at the Brussels Mennonite Fellowship in Brussels, Ontario, this little town about an hour west of Kitchener-Waterloo where we live. And we had a wonderful time, received a warm welcome here from the fabulous people that gather here at this congregation. And you know, I was sharing a message this morning about the glorious church. And when I say the word church, what comes to your mind? Well, according to the dictionary definition, the word church is the building where people gather. But that's not the biblical definition. The biblical definition is that the church is the people. It's the called out ones. It comes from the Greek word ekklesia. We are the called out ones. We are the church. The people are the church, not the building. The building is just where we gather uh, for our worship times together. And so when the phrase, the glorious church, is used in Ephesians chapter 5, where it talks about Jesus uh, wanting to present to himself this glorious church, it's not talking about the building, but it's talking about his followers. All of us together are being raised up in this day and age to become the glorious church where we uh, will be um, full of the light of Jesus and we will be radiant we will be beaming and people will see us as the glorious church that we are called to be. And so as I look through the book of Ephesians, I saw all these characteristics that Paul is, is talking about uh, of the glorious church. He's talking about uh, people that are kind and compassionate. They are humble. They are gentle. They are patient. They are bearing with one another in love. They don't let any unwholesome talk come out of their mouths. There's not even a hint of sexual immorality. And on and on the list goes of things that are characteristics of the glorious church. And this is what you and I are being called to be. We are wanting to live up to the standard that God has set and to become all that we can as followers of Jesus so we can shine the light of Jesus more fully and more brightly in the world in which we live. Well, something for you to think about and until we meet again, stay awake, stay alert and keep on shining for Jesus.